Song Jie jumped to save Im Seoul, and while he was saving her, Im Seoul realized that Song Jie was the one who had saved her before. It turns out Im Seoul had been in a car accident at the same location previously, which is why she felt like she had been there before. The accident had been caused by a taxi driver who initially wanted to take Im Seoul, but cancelled due to a drunk man. In the future, the same taxi driver chased Im Seoul and hit her until she fell into the river, with Song Jie arriving late to save her. However, the original accident had occurred on September 1. When Im Seoul returned to the past, it was July 29, meaning she hadn't changed her future yet. Just like how the fire accident would still happen in Im Seoul's house, the same traffic accident would occur to her in the same way. What makes the situation different is the environment and the people involved with Im Seoul. For instance, she got hit with a ball when she was with Im Yok, and also when she was with Yeon Ju in the future. The same incidents happened similarly, except for the location and the people she was with. So, the traffic accident will still happen to Im Seoul again because the taxi driver will come back for her. However, this time, Song Jie will arrive in time to save Im Seoul and change her future. So Im Seoul, who thinks that Song Jie is her savior from the accident, understands why she is able to return to the past. Just as he saved her life, this time Im Seoul feels that it is her destiny to save Song Jie. Realizing that she only has two chances left, Im Seoul is determined not to miss the moment to save Song Jie. The next morning, when they are going to school together, knowing that a motorbike is coming towards them, Im Seoul quickly pulls Song Jie inside to protect him, while mentioning that it was almost dangerous. However, Song Jie is confused by what just happened as he should be the one protecting Im Seoul and not the other way around. Later, Song Jie asks Im Seoul why she is trying to help him. Im Seoul explains that Song Jie is her lifesaver and she will return kindness like a magpie, where Song Jie corrects her that it should be a swallow. So their conversation refers to the Korean folktale of Hoongu and Nolbu. During the weekend, while her mother is asking her to water the plants, Im Seoul, who sees Song Jie playing with the water to create a rainbow, greets Song Jie. Downstairs, Im Seoul's mother is the one who gets sprayed with the water and gets angry at her because of that. As Song Jie still needs to go for rehabilitation, with the pretext of studying together, Tess Song asks Im Seoul to meet. However, when she arrives, she sees Tess Song playing guitar on stage. From there, Im Seoul realizes why the 19-year-old Im Seoul likes Tess Song. However, when the performance is over, Tess Song brings Im Seoul to the study cafe. Looking at Im Seoul with cream on her lips, Tess Song takes the initiative to clean it. When his hand touches her lips, Im Seoul is surprised by that and decides to leave Tess Song. In the study room, she can't focus on her studies and is thinking about the important date so she can save Song Jie. In the same place, later Im Seoul and Song Jie will also spend time studying together. Im Seoul, who sees Song Jie sleeping, will look at him until she falls asleep, and Song Jie, who is trying to move her hair again, will be surprised as Im Seoul is awake. There will be an awkward moment between them. On the other hand, Im Yok will realize that Song Jie really likes Im Seoul. So he decides to tell Song Jie about what he heard, that Tess Song is dating Im Seoul when he doesn't like her or anything. He's dating any random girl just to get rid of Gaeyeon. Hearing that will make Song Jie furious. That's why when he sees Tess Song, he grows angry just looking at him. Both of them are punished to run a few laps in the school because they are late. But seeing each other, they grow jealous of how the other person is close to Im Seoul, and they turn the punishment into a running competition, which will be won by Song Jie. After they finish running, they try to refresh themselves before going to class. Their Song Jie pretends not to know Tae Song. So Tae Song calls Song Jie out for pretending not to know him. But Song Jie tells him that they are not exactly friends and leaves Tae Song. Later, Song Jie will meet Tae Song at Im Seoul's place again, where they get on each other's nerves and warn each other. For Song Jie, he warns Tae Song not to play with Im Seoul. But they will quickly pretend to be friends when Im Goom comes to the store. So while waiting for Im Seoul, they childishly show how they don't like each other. 
The next day, Song Jae unexpectedly meets Im Goom in the neighborhood again. As he realizes that Song Jae and Tae Song like Im Soul, he purposely mentions that he likes Tae Song as he seems really nice. Getting jealous, Song Jae tells Im Goom that he's really bad at judging people. Hearing that makes Im Goom angry, and he tries to use his authority as Im Soul's brother. However, Im Goom will be interrupted when Im Soul finds out that Song Jae is talking to her brother. Before they can talk further, their mother brings Im Soul and her brother away from Song Jae. While leaving, Im Goom still shows that he dislikes Song Jae. Meanwhile, remembering that the 2008 Beijing Olympics are starting on August 8, 2008, Im Soul is worried about Song Jae, especially since he had joined a practice game for the Beijing Olympics 2008 with Park Taewon before. So on the day of the swimming competition for the Olympics, Im Sol asks Song Jae to spend the day with her. However, Song Jae asks for the reason why she wanted to meet on that specific day. Unable to tell him the true reason that she wants to change his fate, Im Sol gives another excuse to Song Jae. With that, they agree to spend the day out. While they are out, Im Sol tries to distract Song Jae from everything related to the Olympic Games and gets him to focus on her, which surprises him. Im Sol purely gives an excuse for Song Jae to focus on their plan. When they are on the bus, Im Sol quickly gives her headphones to Song Jae when she hears someone talking about the Olympic Games. Unintentionally, Song Jae's feelings grow stronger towards Im Sol. They spend the whole day out. And Im Sol tries various ways to distract and prevent Song Jae from returning home, in case his father sees news about the Olympic Games. However, Song Jae notices Im Sol's attention and tells her that he was really happy while swimming. He adds, I could never have had that happiness if I didn't try it, so I don't regret it. Knowing Song Jae's feelings, Im Sol is also glad to hear that. Later, Im Sol and Song Jae have another date as Song Jae teaches her how to ride a bicycle. When he lets go of her hands and Im Sol almost loses her balance, he quickly helps her. As their eyes meet, Im Sol thanks Song Jae for helping her. Stay tuned for the next episode to witness more sweet and funny moments of Im Sol and Song Jae as they continue to spend the day together. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.